Now this is the part two video of bacilli. We will be discussing with the morphology. The spores do not stain by ordinary method, but can be stained differentially by special technique. When stained with Sudan black B, flat globules may be made out within the bacilli. So what it says is that spores do not stain. Means we cannot see the pores in uh, microscope when stained in ordinary method but it can only be seen when special techniques are applied or when we stain it with sudan black b stain then only we can see the pores of this particular bacilli now next point is amphadian's reaction when the blood film containing anthrax bacilli are stained with polychrome methylene blue for a few seconds and examined under microscope an amorphous purplish material is noticed around the bacilli this represents the capsular material and is characterized of anthrax bacillus so amphadian reaction says when the uh, blood cells containing anthrax bacilli that is particularly stained with this particular polychrome methylene blue for few seconds and is examined under the microscope then we are able to notice it in a purplish material then we will see that there is a purplish material kind of substance that is known as anthrax bacillus in simpler words we can say that jab hum uh, ek blood containing film hoti hai usko hum uh, stain karenge matlab hum usko color karenge aur uske upar ek medium milayenge jisko hum kya bolenge polychrome methylene blue ek substance hota hai stain hota hai जिसको हम एक पर्टिकुलर बैक्टीरिया के ऊपर डालेंगे तो वो बैक्टीरिया अगर पर्पल कलर में चेंज होता है तो आप समझ जाइए कि वो एंथ्रैक्स बेसिलस है और एंथ्रैक्स बेसिलस जो है वो किसी भी ऑर्डनरी मेथड से स्टेन नहीं होगा या किसी भी ऑर्डनरी मेथड से हमको वो नहीं दिखेगा हमको एक स्पेशल टेक्निक चाहिए उसको देखने के लिए तो अगर स्पेशल टेक्निक हमको करना है तो वो किससे हम देख सकते हैं विथ स्यूडान ब्लैक बी जब तभी हम स्टेन को देख सकते हैं This is called the amphadian's reaction in presumptive diagnosis of anthrax in animal. The anthrax bacillus is non-motile, unlike most other members of this genus. So, uh, anthrax bacillus is non-motile. That means it cannot move from its place. It needs a medium for moving or for infecting person. ओके okay, तो हम ऐसे देखेंगे एम फेडिन रिएक्शन मतलब कि जब हम एक बैक्टीरिया को स्टेन करेंगे एक स्टेनिंग से जिसको हम बोलते हैं एम फेडियन स्टेन तो उसके बाद हम कैसे देखेंगे एंथ्रैक्स जो है वो पर्पल कलर में हमको शो होगा तो ये दोनों पिक्चर में आप देख सकते हैं सो द कल्चरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स it is an anaerobe sorry it is a aerobe and facultative anaerobe with temperature range for growth of 12 to 45 degree celsius aerobe that means it needs oxygen for its growth and facultative anaerobe that means it can grow in the presence and also in the absence of oxygen that means it is both it can also grow in the presence of oxygen and in the absence of oxygen with temperature up to 12 to 45 degree celsius if temperature goes beyond 45 degree celsius the bacteria will die or the temperature uh, varies below 12 degree celsius there also bacteria will die good growth occurs on ordinary media so if we uh, want good growth of bacteria then we only need ordinary media not uh, enriched media or not any vegetative media we only need ordinary media for growth of bacteria on agar plates is regularly round colonies are formed 2 to 3 mm in diameter raised dull opaque grayish white with frosted glass appearance that means when the bacteria culture on agar plate the colonies are irregular that means not in a regular shape and size and it is formed 2 to 3 mm in diameter so the colonies are 2 to 3 mm in diameter it is raised or elevated above it is dull in color opaque opaque that means it is not shiny and it is not see through grayish white with a frosted glass appearance frosted glass means when a glass is kept in a fridge or in a freezer so it will appear like a ice kind of structure 
under the low te- low power microscope the edge of the colony is composed of long interlacing chain of bacilli resembling locks of mated hair that means in low power microscope we will see that the colonies are long with chain uh, we can see that colonies are long and it is in a chain like um, structure like mated hair and this is called medusa head appearance and it is also known as medusa head appearance like a bushy kind of head or meshed hair like or curly hair like structures we can say so in low power microscope the colony is long means it is uh, composed of long chain and it can be seen like messy head or curled hair like structure particularly known as medusa head Okay. on continuation of cultural characteristic on blood agar the colonies are non hemolytic on blood agar if the bacteria is culture it is non hemolytic that means does not cause rupturing of rbc in broth growth occurs as flocular deposit now broth growth means growth of bacteria in liquid mainly that so when we grow bacteria in lab in liquid medium not in solid medium in liquid medium it is known as broth growth and flocular deposit that means visible growth in blood when b anthracis is grown on the surface of solid medium containing 0.05 to 0.50 units of penicillin in penicillin per ml in 3 to 6 hours the cell become large spherical and occur in chains on the surface of agar resembling a string of pearls okay that means when the uh, anthracis bacteria is grown on a solid surface Uh, containing this much unit of penicillin for 3 to 6 hours so the cell becomes large we can see that cell enlarges it turns into spherical shape and occurs in a chain like structure on the surface of agar agar is a medium resembling a string of pearls string of pearls that means a pearl like uh, we can say a motio ki mala jaise dikhega wo this string of pearl reaction differentiates clearly b anthracis from b cereus and other aerobic spore bearer to ye kya bol raha hai jab hum uh, solid surface mein bacteria anthracis ko grow karenge a uh, certain amount of penicillin dal ke usko 3 se 6 ghante ke liye chhodenge to kya hoga cell jo hai wo large hoga spherical ban spherical shape mein aa jayega aur thoda sa wo uh, पर्ल्स के मालाओं जैसी उसकी शेप आएगी तो जैसे उसके पर्ल या मोतियों के माला जैसी उसकी शेप आएगी तो हम ये समझ जाएंगे कि ये बी एंथ्रेसिस है मतलब बेसिलस एंथ्रेसिस है तो फिर हम उसको क्या कर सकते हैं डिफ्रेंशिएट कर सकते हैं सीरियस एंथ बेसिलस से मतलब कि अगर पर्ल जैसा रिएक्शन आता है उसका मतलब कि मोतियों की माला जैसे अगर उसका शेप आता है मतलब कि वो बेसिलस एंथ्रेसिस है The vegetative bacilli are not particularly resistant and are destroyed at 60 degrees Celsius in 30 minutes. So the bacilli are not particularly resistant; it dies easily in 60 degrees Celsius in 30 minutes. It can die in 30 minutes in 60 degrees Celsius. In the carcasses of animals which have died of anthrax, the bacilli remain viable in the bone marrow for weeks and in the skin for two weeks. Now the meaning of carcasses is the dead body. ऑफ एन एनिमल तो यहाँ पे क्या बोल रहा है कि जो एनिमल की डेड बॉडी रहती है जो कि एंथ्रेक्स नाम की बीमारी से मरे होते हैं तो जो बेसिलाई है वो उनके बोन मैरो में एक हफ्ते तक पाया जाएगा और उनके स्किन में टू वीक्स तक हम उसको देख सकते हैं द स्पोर्स आर हाईली रेसिस्टेंट टू फिजिकल एंड केमिकल एजेंट डेट मीन्स स्पोर्स कैन रेजिस्ट फिजिकल एंड केमिकल एजेंट they have been isolated from naturally infected soil after as long as 60 years matlab ki agar wo soil mein reh rehta hai wo bacteria agar soil mein pahunch gaya wo bacteria to wo 60 saal baad bhi hum usko soil se nikal sakte hain ya fir 60 saal tak wo soil mein zinda rehta hai they resist dry heat at 140 degrees celsius for 1 to 3 hours and boiling for 10 minutes 
that means they can resist dry heat they can live easily in dry heat for 140 degree celsius at 1 to 3 hours and boiling for 10 minutes that means in boiling it can die easily in 10 minutes but it can resist dry heat they survive in 5% phenol for weeks 5% phenol mein wo kai week tak survive kar sakta hai